Although another winter storm looms, spring weather is quickly approaching. Our Donovan Lynch has more on how artists in Bangor are taking advantage of that by beautifying the city and inspiring thought in the process. Public art can do so much for a city. In downtown Bangor, the number of ordinary brick walls is dwindling, much to the delight of Annette Dodd. It creates joy in the people, the pedestrians who are walking or driving in the city. Dodd and her organization Bangor Beautiful have brought a number of public art displays downtown, building a portfolio on a canvas of mortar and concrete. Now they're embarking on their most ambitious project yet. Bangor Beautiful and Wabanaki Public Health and Wellness will see two large murals converging on Hammond Street. Why just do one wall? Why not concentrate on, on an area in its entirety? On this wall, a scene of the main forest in springtime with vernal pools and local flora, painted by prolific Maine muralist Jared Goulet. Then atop the pavement below, indigenous artists will use the gentle slope of the hill to depict the journey of water from the heights of Katahdin to Penobscot Bay. We need to understand the significance of our waterways, the ways that protect all corners of Maine. To Lisa Saka Basin of Wabanaki Public Health and Wellness, indigenous artists delivering this message in the busy heart of Bangor carries particular weight. Our art is everywhere, and now it's time to make that art and our people more visible. This goal coming at perhaps a renaissance of public art in the Queen City. We're seeing this explosion of art where we're getting one or two new murals a year, whereas, you know, prior to 10 years ago, we didn't have any murals. And both mural projects are expected to be complete by this summer. In Bangor, Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.